Hey there! In this clip, I'll talk about the landing page of mine and subsequently my goals as a business owner. This will help you get a better insight into the mind of a client or an entrepreneur. You'll see how every single detail on the page is there for one reason alone, and that's to boost sales. This is important because every day I see designers focusing on, well, the design side but they fail to realize they're not fulfilling the client's needs. They're just throwing stuff around. I also want to point out the difference between a website and a landing page. While on a regular website you have a bunch of things you can do, a landing page is built with only one specific purpose in mind. In this case, that's selling. Be warned, this is a fairly long video about the web design niche. If you're not interested, just skip it. Let's get to it and you'll see what's what. First of all, the point of the project. This is a landing page for the Photoshop course. The main objective is to obtain sales for this digital product. That's pretty obvious. What's not so obvious is the fact that this is a difficult task because A. There are countless YouTube videos which are totally free. B. There are cheaper courses out there. And C. The price may seem high to some people. So how would you approach such a project? I think there are two main avenues. One, focus on my expertise as a teacher, or B, focus on the student's needs. Towards point number one, you would think that if I show that I'm an Adobe certified instructor and Photoshop expert with over 24,000 reviews and 200,000 students, that would establish credibility. That would make people trust me, and therefore they may be more likely to buy the course. I didn't choose that path though, and here's why. Bounce rate is that metric, that number, that shows us how many people immediately leave a website upon entering it. It's an industry standard and most people in the know constantly monitor it. People immediately exit a website due to several reasons, but one of the biggest ones is a mismatch between the visitor's expectations and the content that's shown. If you're looking for a Photoshop course and you see a big image of some random guy that's boasting about his expertise, his numbers, that doesn't speak to your needs. Instead, there's a good chance it might actually upset you. In the landing page niche, you need to make sure you laser focus on the visitor's wants. To lose weight, to sleep better, to make more money, to get a date, and so on. The expertise comes into play at a later point in the sales pitch. What matters first and foremost is to grab the visitor's attention and keep him interested. I'll say that again. What matters most is to grab the visitor's attention and keep him interested. If you manage to engage him, the chances of a sale go up. Okay, with that being said, look at this header. It's tiny by anyone's standards and that's because the visitor's focus should be here in this central area. The navigation menu is as minimal as it gets. Home, about me, contact, which are mandatory as far as I'm concerned for such a page. Then register and login, again very much needed. A one pixel grey divider and that's the header. No images, no bevel, no inner shadow, nothing. As clean as it gets. Thus the visitor is drawn here. This is where your copywriting has to be on point. Copywriting is essential in a landing page. It says become a designer. It's not learn Photoshop. That may work, but people's goals aren't formulated that way. You don't want to get a new mattress. You want to sleep better so you can feel better. You want to be well rested. Next, the term masterclass is there to say this is a premium program. Finally, from beginner to pro shows this is the only training program that you'll ever need. It's all encompassing. Every single word here makes sense. This is a great headline. There's no fat to it. You can't cut anything away nor could you add a lot to it in a productive way. Short, powerful, effective. So this by itself is one reason why you should never use lorem ipsum on landing pages. This headline alone takes a lot of time to craft. But let's move on to the subheadline. It says learn Photoshop, web design, mobile app design, graphic design and so much more. This indicates there's a ton of content, but these are also buzzwords, keywords. If you're looking for, say, web design, this line here reassures you that you're in the right place. This minimizes the bounce rate. It continues, 80 hours taught by an Adobe certified Photoshop instructor. 
This is a USP, a unique selling point. The course length and the instructor's credentials are both solid arguments in favor of the course. So again, everything you see here is aimed at minimizing the bounce rate. You want to keep people interested. Last line, unlimited access to learn at your own pace. That's powerful yet again. Unlimited access so you don't have to rush going through it. It also tells you that the course is not a one-time streaming thing. Then it reassures you by saying you can learn at your own pace. That's because there's a significant group of people in any field that's intimidated by learning a new thing. It doesn't matter if it's learning to dance, play the guitar, or learning a new program. They don't have confidence in their ability to pick up information fast. As such, this phrase, learn at your own pace, is very powerful. All that and we've only gone through, what, 5% of this design? Okay, moving on. Course features is something that came with the platform that I'm using, so it wasn't my first choice. I had to use it here because of technical reasons. It could be helpful for those people who are interested in numbers. Over the 800 lectures, 82 hours, all levels, certificate included and so on. But it's not the best area in this design. Next comes the video. The preview is a bit low quality due to various plugins that help me increase the page's speed which is a critical factor in selling things online. The faster it loads, the better. But the thumbnail is striking. It features bold colors and it has this message here, learn from a certified instructor. Moving on down, we have a series of headlines. Learn to create, five in one course, make money, gain confidence, unique content. All these are the well-crafted headlines that are intended to speak to various individuals. Learn to create for your job, for your business, for you. Plays on the card of personal development. It's something for those people who want to elevate their lives, that want to change, that want to grow maybe. But I don't push this card too much because I don't want to promise the moon or a life-changing Photoshop course. Selling too aggressively is always counterproductive. Instead, what I do is I use this section to separate myself from YouTube videos, cheaper courses, even my own actually, and the seemingly high price. Progressive difficulty is first shown because again, people lack confidence and faith in themselves. They fear they may struggle, so this is the first thing I have to address. Another part of that is the fact that when you watch a YouTube video, it's out of context. A course makes so much more sense. You get from A to Z. On a YouTube video, you don't know what's next. Instant help via live chat is one of the reasons as to why the course is priced as such. And this is again another reason why it's much better than cheaper ones. Because you get access to a skilled professional that answers immediately. Unlimited access and the sheer amount of hours tells you this is the only thing you'll ever need. Learn by doing tells you you don't have to memorize things. People hate schools for a reason. Learning through activities seems more fun and enjoyable. And we have two more here, but let's continue. The next section is again a great argument in favor of buying this course. First of all, it's a comprehensive course. From zero to hero, five courses in one. Then you get this video here that shows you everything that you're gonna create. This is a better use of space rather than showing 100 thumbnails that are way too small. It will also help the website load faster. Next, you have a checklist and everybody is bound to find something they're interested in. Finally, some key stats for those logical, analytic thinkers that don't make decisions with their feelings. Speaking about that, here's the way the page ends. For less than $5 per hour, for the best Photoshop training with instant help via live chat from an Adobe certified instructor. This translates that seemingly high price into something that's more relatable. Just $5 per hour, that's a steal. Moving back up, this area here is used to prompt the user for action. You want to make the entire process as easy as possible. Don't force him to scroll back up. Sprinkle the call to action button in key places. The next thing is, social proof is a big deal. People need to see that this course works. That's why I included this text heavy region. People will obviously be discouraged to read it, but that's not the point. The headline, subheadline, and all these stars are what matter. We live in a world where people read the headline of a news story on Facebook or whatever and spread it even though they haven't actually read the article. 
We don't have enough time, so the simple fact that we see a wall of proof is enough for us. So again, even though this may seem as a mistake that it's too text heavy, it actually makes sense. Continuing, we have another area of USPs, unique selling points. These points help you justify you buying the course versus watching random YouTube videos from various people or buying a cheap course where you don't get any real help. Next, these badges are for those people that love to quickly scan a page. All these are very much needed and I think if I had complete freedom, I'd probably place them at the top of the page instead of all these stats. For example, instant access is for those people who hate waiting. This is a major incentive to buy it and start it. As you can see, the landing page has to speak to loads of people with completely different behaviors. Some people want to take it slow. Some people want it now. Some people are afraid they're not creative enough or maybe they won't be able to work along and so on. You have to reassure all these people. Finally, an FAQ section is very much needed, but five to six questions should be the max. More than that, and it starts to feel overwhelming. Now let's back up. Notice the simplicity of the page. We have a fantastic looking font in a couple of weights on a pure white background. We have a very easy on the eye blue for a couple of sections, but everywhere else you look, the whole thing is spotless. Color is used to attract attention, either to get the visitor to click on a YouTube video or to buy the course. That's it. And with that simplicity, these icons truly come to life. I did spend a very long time finding ones that matched, but they really shine with all this white space around them. The entire design relies on symmetry, on a feeling of airiness and great typography. I can't say I'm perfectly in love with it, but I think it meets my goals as a business owner. As a side note, in the about me section, the focus shifts on my expertise, but also on my life story. If you want to get to know me, this is the place for it. It's quite a long read, but I hadn't had the time to create a YouTube video to place it at the top of the page. Taking one final look at the design, my question to you is, how would you create such a page? If a client came to you with this brief to sell Photoshop courses for triple digits, how would you design this landing page? As I said, you could have focused on the instructor's experience at the top or the projects included in the course. You could have shown the curriculum, but all those choices, I think they're suboptimal. For example, look at the table of contents. It's ginormous. This would have eaten a lot of precious space. And if you only include a small part of it, people might think there is not a lot of content in the course. But I do have to mention that I'm not happy about one thing. It's the fact that it's not extremely obvious that you get live chat for immediate help. That's one of the biggest selling points and I'm not sure this design shows that enough. Simply being able to talk to an expert in real time is immensely valuable. So again, the question is, how would you create a landing page for this type of project? Show me your design in the comment section or on Discord. Have fun with it.